Hello, I'm Renee Barabo, the Practical Shaman and Hay House author of Winds of Spirit. And I'm getting ready this week to start the journal, 21 day journal challenge. And you may be considering, oh, whether or not is this journal challenge for me? Books like this take years and years and years to write. Somebody just posted an eight year anniversary of the next top spiritual author competition where there was a group of several hundred of us who decided it wasn't a competition, it was a cooperation. And over the years, it's been really exciting to watch all of these people come to fruition, either as self-published or published authors. Now, this journal challenge isn't just for you if you want to be an author, but for certainly if that's one thing you want to do. It took uh, many times and many trials. I was in Pearls of Wisdom with one chapter, The Five Principles of Everything it was another chapter, and long, long, long before I did any of that, I started to keep a journal. I almost went to the hot garage. It's about 100 and over 100 here today in the desert. And to dig out that first journal. I, over the years, I've gotten rid of many journals, but the one that I keep is that very first steno pad that my grandmother gave me. I think I was 11, and it was a Christmas present. And from that time on, I had this love for, for going inward. What about you? What are the possible reasons that you might be considering taking the journal challenge with us? One of it might be to um, sit with yourself. And why would you want to sit with yourself? Well, it's summer, you know, you'd rather might be outside, but, or if you're in the Southern hemisphere, it's winter. So maybe you would like to just sit with yourself inside. But in the, the wind work system, in the spring, we set goals. And then in the summer, it's the time to, to nourish those plants, to fertilize, to uh, the sun is out a lot. They get extra water. So it's the same kind of thing about your soul. When the journal challenge is an ideal time to, uh, to nourish your soul's work. And so that might be you're thinking about a career change, or maybe you have a book that you want to write, or a relationship that needs tending to. There's so many different reasons. One of the things this year that I set a goal for expanding and opening, and a friend suggested the other day to ask myself, what does that look like when it's when I am expanded and opening? What does that mean? So for me, it's going to be a process where I'm going to actually dive deeper into this idea of opening and expanding. And as soon as I started to journal again, because trust me, when you're writing a book, and that's where your heart is set and your pen is set and your butt is set in the seat for all of those years. Uh, journaling can get away from you. So this annual journal challenge for me is a great time to reset and get back into my notebooks. And for me, I like to keep just a, you know, one of those college bound notebooks that I can get over at Staples or Office Depot for pretty cheap. And because they're not, these aren't the keepers. Like one time about five years ago, I took 40 years of journals over to the paper shredder. I tried burning them, but then the fire department showed them. <laughs> so I thought, well, I better wait. And because and, journaling is a private thing. It's not something you necessarily uh, are an exploration that you're going to go to the library and read your poetry. Now, something you can journal can turn into that. Many years ago, I took all of my journals and I spent a whole summer going through and trying to read my illegible uh, scribble and putting it all into uh, type form because then we had computers when I first started there. Oh, let's date myself, but there wasn't so many computers. And then as, as over time, I, sometimes I, I get a creative burst and I will write onto the computer. Generally, when I'm even writing a blog article, I might scratch it out on a piece of paper first and then turn around and put it into the computer. It all depends. Writing a book taught me that I could, I used to think that I needed the keys of the typewriter. That's why some of the advertising you've seen has typewriter. Click, 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 click. That was my fantasy of what a writer looked like, hearing that click, 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 click. But the way I spell and the way that I write, oh, thank God there's computers. But that's not what this is about. Sometimes we need to restore our creative wins. And 
we all have to create, we all have to do this. It's not, there's a creativity has its own living and breathing cycle. And for me, once I put a big expenditure of creative energy out in the world, it's like the, the air gets let out of the balloon and it's flat. And I don't, I can go into this deep, dark place of, oh, what's the use? I'm never going to have another creative idea. All of those things can come up and, and work for me or, and they are working for me. I don't look at them as, oh, that's a bad time. No, that's working for me because there's something deeper that I need to explore. Journaling is an ideal time for if you want to take your creative sparks and really uh, dismember them or reestablish them or push the bounds of what you're doing. Let's see. Oh, sometimes in life we get tossed overboard with a side wind. Boy, you know, you land in that cold ocean and you don't know if, you know, whether you should sink or swim, that's a great time to go in and do some journaling because there's a gift in there. There's always a gift in, in a wind that comes from any single direction, even those ones that are pushing against you, those ones that knock you off your course, and that's just juicy fodder. I mean, if I, go back, if I went back to look at some of those 20 and 30 year old journals, it was like, woe is me, I was the victim. Wah, 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 wah. And like when I was, uh, retyping them into the computer, I was thinking like, who is that person? So often it's good to keep a journal just for a reference point down the road 10 years when you go back and look. Okay, so then um, you some people could deconstruct one idea for the whole 21 days. Now, that might be because you, you, you're working out a, a novel or a, a book, maybe you're working on a book proposal, and you really don't know the idea well enough. But if you take and deconstruct it into what are the finest, what are the, the simplest ideas that I've got here and build out from there, that's also a great thing you can do with your journal. Another thing sometimes I use the journal for is when I'm visioning a new course. And what does that mean? I mean, sometimes it's an online course, but no, sometimes that I have a whole new course in my life and that I don't know where I'm going. And what an exploration of ideas to take it and visualize myself in various different places. If any of these are reasons that you might want to join us for the journal challenge, how this is going to work is that for the next for beginning on Wednesday night, I'm going to open with a wind whistling ceremony. In fact, I'm going to pull a wind and um, whistle up a wind for those people who haven't heard about this yet. And feel free to share it with other people you know who could really use this creative burst. And we're going once we open the ceremony, we're going to have, we have a community of people holding each other in accountable, but but more in a, in a spaciousness that creativity can flow. Because remember, one wind will go around the world in a few short days. So imagine if there's creative people all over the world holding this space for this journal challenge, then, you know, ideas bounce off of each other in the sand. And then you could come over to the Facebook page, the group page of the Wind Clan and share it or not. But trust me, once we open that circle, the, the creative winds will start to flow for all of us. And then every day I'll send a, a creative prompt. Now, some of these are from people from before who've taken the journal challenge. Some of them are new ideas. And I will also add some videos and some wind blessings and things like that to keep us going because it doesn't sound like 21 days is a long time. However, 21 days you can change a habit and start with some good solid new tools to move forward. And I don't look at it as good, good or bad. I'm just talking about these are good tools um, as opposed to bad tools. I don't know, what, whatever. <laughs> but it's not a quantitative thing like that if you don't journal, you're bad. Or if you do journal all 21 days, that's great. Because one of the things is, is to look at yourself when you make a commitment to something and can't do it. I think there's just as much uh, juice for creativity in, in that spot. All right, so if you're interested, sign up. There's a, a link below and get yourself ready. Maybe go get yourself a, a new new pad or something a little fancier, whatever you like to, to invest in, and maybe even decorate it if you'd like. 
name it. And let it with other people, if you live with a lot of people, know that this is your private spot that uh, what goes in there is for your eyes only. I don't know if you need to do that or not, but just remember, we're sake, setting up a sacred circle for our winds of creativity to flow. All right, I'm Renee, I'm the Practical Shaman. And hey, if you haven't read Winds of Spirit yet, you might wanna get it because there's some inspiring ideas in here for you to uh, open up to, to find out. Let's see what Wind wants to come and help us with this journal challenge. All right, I have to put on my glasses. So I opened up to the Fujin, the, the Shinto wind, and growth, abundance, and prosperity are assured when Fujin arrives at the, as the god Reijin, the god of thunder, who disrupts your calm with a thunderous squall. Once the rain subsides, the clouds part, your path will become clear. Now it's time to act as if you believe. No matter what illusion nature holds before your eyes, like the sacred isles of Japan, everything is connected. Seeds carried on the breath of wind are nourished during a rainstorm and thrive as they grow in the nourishing light. Now is the time to expand your knowledge. Take time to read a book, sign up for a workshop, or attend a class. <laughs> So a lot of you have already signed up for the journal challenge because we're heading towards 200 people, which there's power in the group. All right, I'm Renee Barabo and I'm the Practical Shaman. I'm a wind whistler and let's, I'm gonna whistle us out. We're gonna call to Fujin to grow the circle so that everybody who needs this wind uh, 21 day journal challenge will be here. Have an awesome day. And don't forget, if you're interested, just sign up below and you'll receive a, a daily prompt beginning Thursday morning, but there will be an opening wind whistling ceremony on Wednesday.